Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by simpletut.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use HTML and CSS to create a modern and stylish way of enabling users to zoom in on an image on your web page. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to note here is that in preparation of this video I've gone ahead and prepared an image. I've created two copies of this image. The first copy is, as you can see, uh, I've changed the dimensions. This is the size I want it to be when the page loads in the user's browser. And this has the, cor uh, this has the correct direct, uh, dimensions for the image uh, when the actual user clicks on it to zoom in. So we've got two copies of the image. Uh, I've also gone ahead and created a basic page layout with some dummy text and we're going to be inserting our image just beside the text here. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I go into code view, we're going to be using HTML and CSS. So we're going to create a new div tag within our content div, which is going to sit just beside um, our text. So I've created a new div with the ID of image. Now just uh, before my closing head tag, I'm going to create a, our opening and closing style tags so we can insert some CSS. I'm going to use the hashtag image to target my div and we're going to be uh, setting some basic rules here so let's just specify a width. Uh, I know for a fact my image is going to be 400 pixels um, by 300 pixels. Um, I want to set a background image and the background image is basically going to be the uh, image I want to load on the page uh, by default. We want to float this to the left because we want this to uh, we want our text to kind of load around the image um, and what I also need to do because of that is set a margin from the right of 11 pixels and a margin from the bottom of 11 pixels. Now if I save that and come into design view you're gonna see that isn't right. That's because when we set the height for 300 we left off pixels. So as you can see now in design view if I save that I can load this in my web browser so let's load that in Explorer. What you're gonna see is we've created a basic div. We're floating this to the left so that our text loads around our image. We've also specified a margin on the right side and on the bottom to just give this uh, layout some breathing space because otherwise the text would be right up against the edge of the image and that wouldn't look pleasant or very easy to, to read at all. Um, now as of right now this image is not clickable. You can't see a larger copy of it. It's not working. So we're going to use some CSS to make this look a little prettier. So again, hashtag image. This time we're going to add hover. And now we can change a few things. The first thing I'm going to change is the background image. This is the one I want to load on the page. Now note this is 980 by 551 pixels. So here I'm going to change the width to uh, 980 pixels and the height to 551 pixels. Now the first thing I'm going to do is save that and if I again load this in a web browser you're going to see the image just suddenly increases in size. That actually doesn't look too bad but it's not really working the way I want it to. So we're going to add a few other things. We're going to add a uh, Z index of let's say 100 uh, and also a position of sorry absolute that's just going to enable us to um, basically as you can see uh, just it's basically going over the text it's no longer pushing the uh, the text down or underneath this it's now it's just loading over it which I think is a nice effect the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a transition time. 
Okay, so we're going to add a transition. Sorry, not transform. Uh, transition. And we're going to set this to, let's say, two seconds. Let's load this in our browser one more time. And as you can see, it just looks a lot more pleasing aesthetic, aesthetically. And if you would prefer the uh, this not to load over the text, all you have to do is remove the position absolute and Z index. So if I load this in my browser another time, it still has a slight transition delay. And actually, I think I might prefer that. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you found it useful, I'd just like to take this chance to encourage you to visit simpletut.com, which is our official web developers social network where we post all of our video tutorials. Some of our most popular tutorials include building a content management website, user registration systems, comment systems, and much more. And apart from classes on subjects such as PHP, we also offer classes on photography and very other and various other popular topics. We also have an ask a question section on our website where you can access support from a member of our team and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have regarding this or any other one uh, any other tutorial uh, we also have a freebies section where we offer various different content and release new freebies on a regular basis